Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, and welcome back to more Perizno. I'm Liz. It's been, like, two months almost. Not quite a full two months, but almost two months since I've played Mountain Blade at all. Uh, I think Perizno was actually the last thing I played in Mountain Blade. Uh, since then, we played some Battletech uh, while I was on vacation. Still, my vacation's been over for a few weeks now. I have not had any time to get into anything, really. I have dabbled a little bit in Conan Exiles because um, I, I can do that while, you know, the kids are running around me screaming and all this kind of crap. Like, I'm not recording it. <laughs> I could do a few things, but I can't record. But today, I have the opportunity, as my chair squeaks as I turn it, to do a couple quick things. And one of those quick things is getting back on track with Perizno. Um, we left off at Ford. If we take a peek at ourselves for a recap situation, Lord Radu, 31 strength. We just got ourselves this ball and plate armor. Uh, we are level 15. If we take a look at our inventory, we also have the giant cleaver. Right, right. 120 reach, 44 cut. Nice, nice, nice. Also an orange striped lance and a couple of shields and a hunter. So our horse is you know, acceptable. Lame Black Elven Horse Saddle Horse Heavy Holy War Horse. Right! We bought this one from the Gambler because it looked like it didn't have requirements. But it totally had requirements! I remember that. Okay. We're at Ford. We have 45,000, right? That's what I just saw. Yeah, 45,000 Arums. Uh, let's take a quick look at our... Is it in here? Is it weekly budget? No. It's not weekly budget. It's financial report. That's the one we want. So Freising, we have 12 acres of land owned there. We're making 2,500 cash bucks. We currently have 1,584 there waiting for us. So it looks like we're investing in the Empire. Or not the Empire. Um, the Reich. The Reich. It looks like we're investing in the Reich. The Empire would be down here, right? Yeah, that's the Empire. We're investing in the Reich, so if we're invested in Freising already, we can invest in like Reichberg or uh, Voldeberg or Merdinal or something like that to follow up. At the moment, though, we are at Ford. I'm guessing I was going around doing tournaments. There's nobody here at the moment, though. I do need money. Um, let's go to the arena and talk. Hello, good to see you again. Are there any tournaments in nearby towns? In Leuven. I need to leave now. Goodbye. Where is that? Where is Leuven, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I feel like I knew this at one point, and now I totally don't know anything about this anymore. Have we already looked over this and we just completely missed it like stupid idiots because I feel like that's what happened. Yeah, I remember Gr Grund and Grozny up here. I remember Soot. I remember Mernenhof, Freising, Reichberg, Voldeberg, Arendelle, Mekan, Ford. I know these. Galway, Vinica, Leuven. Was it Leuven? Is that what I'm looking for? It was totally Leuven, wasn't it? Yeah, that's totally it, isn't it? Okay, if, if that's the case, then it is down in Tolrania again. Yes, I had to look up what their name was. I knew it was Tol... Tol... Some... Something? <laughs> Man, it's been... It's been a while. It's been a while. I think I will start heading down that direction anyway, because we might be able to run into something that we can fight. I'm at 100%, I believe. So if we do get like a decent enough easy fight that we can take on just to warm ourselves back up to Mountain Blade combat, that would be great. I feel like volume is super low. Do you guys feel like volume is super low? Let me just adjust some settings here. I'll be back. All right, so I increased volume slightly. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out. I, I just feel like I, I can barely hear this. And I can barely hear this. I can only imagine what you guys can barely hear. So advanced Zan scouting party. The Zan or um, whatever it is, is, is going to show up eventually. I thought they were black on the map, though. Uh, they're going to show up eventually, and that's going to be uh, fun times. Fun, fun times 
Forty-five thousand. I wonder how much it's going to take to buy more property. A large army of slaves. Cool. You rebel against those master slaves as long as the masters aren't me. Watch, we're going to get to a tournament and it's going to be so freaking loud. Macavian Mercenary Patrol. It's going to be so freaking loud that... Let's wait till early morning. Early morning. That, uh... Lindell Castle, cool. That uh, we won't be able to hear anything during, during a battle. So yes, there is a tournament happening here. Um... Yeah, sure, I've got a lot of money. I'll place a... Oh, yeah, that's that's kind of loud. It's like on, on the map, it was super quiet. I couldn't hear anything, and now it's loud. Um, I'll probably lose this tournament because, you know, I haven't played Mountain Blade in two months, but uh, let's see. Let's find out. Oh, I should have uh, immediately ordered my team to follow me, and I didn't. And we're taking the wrong swing. There. That's better. Oh, we can uh, shield bash in this mod too, can't we? Um, <laughs> what's shield bash again? Is it move close to them and press space? I, I don't remember. I don't remember. No, no, it's block, and while you're blocking, press the attack button, right? Is that it in this mod? I don't know. 500 arms, go ahead, fight. No, follow me, team. Ah, fuck. Half of our team went that way and got themselves killed like immediately, probably. Yeah, this is a little smidgy on loud. Okay, they backed off. They didn't get themselves killed. They actually backed off towards us and held off the opponent. Fantastico. Yeah, that's shield bash. We got it. We got it. They could have... No, looks like they don't have skirmishers. Guys, get in there. <laughs> okay, so we took a smidgey on of damage. Not that bad. That's all right. It is significantly louder in combat, though. So sound is working, at least. Oh, the odds are not... <laughs> they, they think we're going to win here, so we're not making that much money off of our bets. But that's okay. Fight in the next round. It's one on one on one. On one, it looks like. Looks like four. I should have paid attention. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, that shield bash is just ridiculous. Hey. Suck it. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Three teams with one fighter each. Place a bet. 500, go. Fight! Maybe we'll get a prize, though. Like, other than just the cash prize, maybe we'll get, like, an item prize if we win. Is this three? Oh, yeah, okay, there they are. I'm like, this is a three-team match. Don't... You dill holes! Oh my god! Needed one more swing on him to get him too. And I've been eliminated from the tournament. That's that's fine. I kind of suspected something like that would happen. I was trying to go after that first guy. To I, I I played that wrong. When it's three teams left in a tournament, you you don't you don't engage. You back the hell off and you let them engage each other. Uh, but if they do run it towards you and actually attack you like that, you can get yourselves in a bit of trouble like that. But um, when when I realized that hey, I I was a stupid idiot and I was engaging him. I uh, immediately tried to just like bash him and hit him and bash him and hit him to get him down before the blue guy got to me. But uh, then I was like, you know, there's a third team here. And right when I was saying that to myself, the other guy comes up behind me and starts whacking at me. At which point I was like, no, 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 fight each other, fight each other. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just knocked them down. I was like one hit away from taking that guy out probably. And I was blocking with my sword at the end instead of my shield because I had gotten it destroyed. Let's go to the feast. Actually, there's no real purpose going to this feast. 
Um, I guess, no, no, I think, uh, is it the King's Feast? It is. Yeah, we want to talk to him because it will get us a little bit of rep, but it doesn't really matter all that much because rep with kings doesn't matter. Rep with everybody else. We want rep with everybody else because remember, this is Perizno. If we get super high rep with somebody, we actually get like stat bonuses for that because Perizno, it's amazing. But um, yeah, how much would it take out of curiosity to buy land? I don't really want to buy here, but I want to know what the prices of these things are. I can buy up to 14 acres here, apparently. What's the price? Uh, development, I, I wish it was a chart. Buying existing acre costs 30, 45 arums. So 10 acres would be about 30 grand. Yeah, okay, that, that's fine. Got about 45, so that's about 15-ish acres. Not quite, a little bit less than that in the end. Well, it sells for 1995. Building a new one, that means uh, preparing new uncultivated land so you can actually expand the land into place. Like if we wanted to, we could just invest in new land in uh, Freising, but we won't, not yet. Okay. All right, cool. So I've got a bit of money. I could uh, I could actually invest in some land. I mean, I would, uh, I would lose the cash that I have floating around on me if that was the case. I do want to want to fight something in the field on my horse. Like if we could get some snow crawlers or are there sand crawlers or some other kind of rebel here? Village farmers versus Elentor mercenary patrols. Yeah. Actually, that group of 50 up there, I should have checked what they were. They were probably that Zan scouting force or whatever. But, uh, ooh, slave rebels, gladiator champions, veteran gladiators, gladiators, and slaves. Okay, okay. Can I take 171 <laughs> slave rebels? Maybe with a better horse I could. I don't think I could take them with this horse. Maybe I could, I don't know. Peasant rebels. Uh, peasant rebels aren't that bad though. And imperial scouts. 24 scouts and seasoned ones. I don't know if they're on horseback. I don't know if, ooh, ooh, these guys wanna fight. Okay, I was not gonna fight you guys because you're just peasant rebels. Uh, peasant rebels don't mean outlaws. They don't mean anything like that. They just mean people who are pissed off with what's going on for them. There's eight of you. Like, excuse me? Excuse me? Dude. Dude. Do, do, do you even know what, what, you're, what you're doing here, dude? Check us out. Helmet too. <laughs> My bad. I uh, I wasn't holding the lance low enough. I seem to remember that I was doing that last time as well. I just was not holding the lance low enough. <laughs> I love it. Let's pull out this big cleaver. Oh my god, yes. Yes, the reach. The reach is real. And it does a not insignificant amount of damage as well. Oh, I'm doing it. I am so doing it. I'm I'm leading my shots like an idiot. There we go. That's better. We can slow down and just do like tight circles around them. We don't need to get like wide. We don't need to give a wide path around them. This isn't a particularly crazy battle or anything. Yep. I don't think you guys you guys realize what you were doing. Oh right. This. No. It says battle one, press tab key to leave, but I have to wait for like two and a half minutes after it starts that before I can actually do it. Well, let's take some stuff. I can sell it at least. I don't, I don't remember, like, I don't have a sense of what is actually valuable right now. I just don't have a sense of what is worth it or not. Um, veteran footmen, yeah, can I catch them? I can totally catch them! 8.9! And they're veteran foot 
men specifically, which means they are not horsemen. Check that out, though. A little bit tougher than that last one we were up against. Charge the enemy. You will regret ever leaving your army. There they are. I can see you. I see your formation is a little bit screwed up as well. Hi, guys. Well, that sucks. That was a really bad charge. <laughs> Goodbye, veteran footman. So the cool thing about these guys are they don't have, like, javelins or anything like that that they throw at us. They do seem to have, like, a... They have a pike of some sort. I, I haven't gotten a good look at it. But uh, they do have a pole arm of some sort. So charging at them with uh, a lance might not be the best idea, but I think it's actually a longer reach than their pole arm, probably, by the looks of it. So I don't necessarily hate that idea, either. We could probably pole arm these guys, or uh, lance these guys. I mean, technically a lance is a pole arm, right? <laughs> right? It's not a foot pole, but it is uh, It is a pole arm. Once again, I'm leading my, my, my swings, like, I remember doing that before as well, like before the, uh, before the little bit of a break. God, the reach is insane! Look at that! I gotta get used to, uh, pulling out as well, giggity. Basically having my horse pull off to the, in this case it would be to the, uh, right. Um, right after I get my hit in, or even if I have to avoid the attack, uh, before they actually manage to hit me. Because my horse is taking a lot of damage here. A lot of damage that the horse does not need to be taking. See, the other thing is, though, if you do swing up for an attack like that, and they decide that they're going to try and beat you, and they're going to try and swing instead of block, then you have a... You have a good window to hit them there, but they basically never block at all if you don't swing for an attack, so if you don't swing until right before you intend to hit, like if you don't pull back, then um, they basically never block, like ever. They will always wind up to try to attack you in that case, whereas if you are like this, then they will often try to block you instead of attack you. Goodbye. What, three more? Definitely sounds like Arnold died. Last one. Oh, come on. We have 120 reach. How did that not hit? Okay. The battle is won. That was, what, 18 deserters or something like that? Or maybe... I, I don't remember. Yeah, 18 enemies in battle. 18 deserters. Nice. So there is a peasant woman and five farmers. You're free, ladies and gents. Ooh. Now, obviously, our armor and everything is going to be significantly better than any of this, but uh, this is this is good sell stuff. This is good for sale. So let's take all of this stuff and we can sell it in. That I really don't like that heraldry. Our banner. We probably could have picked a better banner, guys. I am not the biggest fan in the world of that heraldry. Uh, let's head north. I want to stay sort of in this general neighborhood for a little bit. Don't want to go uh, rampaging across the map too much just now. We'll, we'll come up with those ideas later. But remember, it's been a while. But remember, the point of this campaign is not to skip things. It's not to cut out content or cut out me just grinding for crap and all that nonsense. This is Perizno. The point of this playthrough, unlike things in Pandora and whatnot, is to literally show everything, experience the entire thing, every tournament, instead of just, you know, that first one or two tournaments, and then I'm not going to bother showing you any more after that, because, you know, you've seen it all before. Or not, like, skipping every little, you know, 18 enemy battle and all that kind of thing. No, no, no. We skip none of that.
go to the goods merchant. You know what? Let's not go to the goods merchant. Let's go to the arms merchant and let's sell some stuff here. So this first couple are super duper cheap. And then starting here, we can start getting a bit of money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's only 1,400 arms, but still. That's not an insignificant amount of money when I've got 4,400. That got me back what I bet, basically. So, fantastico. Um, let's leave. So, there's no tournament days happening over here. So, that's that's a thing. But let's, uh... Let's start heading back towards Reich territory. I probably just recently left Reich territory. Volhir Raiders. I wanted to avoid the Volhir Raiders early on. But now that I have this armor and this weapon, I, I, I can't actually make a judgment over what I can take or not right now. I, I'm too... I'm too uh, um, cool on this game at the moment. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not warmed up to it enough right now, and I don't have a level enough head to judge the situation to be able to tell if I can take them or not right now. So we're just gonna have to hold back. It's kind of hard to determine if you can as well when you're like you know one dude and you avoid these conflicts. Because then you can't determine if, oh, maybe I can do these guys. Okay, so deserters. Valhir Hardened Drengers. 20... Uh, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Snowwalker 2, Snowcrawler 8. Draken Elite Lanschnecks. No. Draken Schatzschutz. No. Draken Krieger. Nice. So bro, yeah. <laughs> no. Nope, 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 nope. Volhir scouting party against Lord Finnis's. Fin so no, not Finnis. Finner's party. Sorry, Lord Finner. You're on your own. We're back towards Freising now. We have a small amount of cash built up in Freising. 16 deserters, Draken Kriegers. Valhir Landi. Okay, so they're both coming after me. I don't want to fight both of those parties at once, not without any help. Baron Mletzna versus Aisling Regier. Okay, so Baron Mezna has fewer soldiers. Hmm. Question is, could I actually... Against this Valahir group, could I actually do this? Because they have two Drakenmeisters, four Drakenritters... Three Draken Kriegers. Maccabians. Wyvern Riders. Five Wyvern Riders. Like, they have a not insignificant force that they're holding on to there. Can't even mouse over them anymore. There we go. But it's 26 from the Reich against that. Could I, could I could I turn that battle around? I probably could. What the hell? Who are these deserters joining in this battle? It's now 19 versus 35. I almost want to do this. Baron Maleza! Damn it, let's just do it. You move in to help Baron Meleza's party. You have 18 troops fit for battle against the enemy's 33. I will lead my troops! <laughs> Meaning, me! Yeah, let them come. This is, uh... This is, this is terrifying as shit is what this is. Oh my goodness. Okay, I will try and disrupt them a bit. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. This is not bad. 
Looks like we have uh, troop superiority, like superior units. I'll try and disrupt them a little bit. I'll be that uh, commando that always uh, runs around the back of the lines shooting its lasers and shit at people. It makes, uh, it makes everybody look at them instead of at you know, the enemy who's coming up with like all their assault packs. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be that guy. Or I'll get stuck in. I could do that too. These guys do have a good amount of HP. How much? Oh, 345 experience. Yeah, okay, so these guys aren't a joke. They're not crazy good, but they're not a joke. And they are cleaning up our allies. Oh yes, they cleaned up our allies. Oh boy, did they ever. I think our horse is lame, or at least it's being damaged so that it can't uh, move as fast. That kind of sucks. Okay, that's another ally down. I don't know how many enemies are left off the top of my head. Cool thing is they have nobody on horseback. So if I can avoid their bows, I should be able to get out as long as they don't kill my horse. I should be able to kill people and get out and retreat. In fact, I could retreat now if I wanted to. Oh, maybe it's because we're in snow. Oh, they got my horse. Oh, it's 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 time, guys. It's it's clutch time. You need to die. You need to die. You need to die. No, seriously, you need to die. No, don't not get behind me. You need to die. I, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going down. There we go. Yeah, we got we got knocked down there. Wow, we almost clutched that though. Holy crap. Okay, are we actually defeated though? Okay, we're good. We're good. Baron Leza was defeated, but managed to escape. And we got ourselves away. He's got six people good for fighting, though. And I'm at 10%, so that's, that's not going to work out in our favor, is it? Um, I don't know what we were putting points into now. I feel like it was probably agility, but it might have been charisma for some reason. We're, we're going to hold off on our points for a little bit, guys. Um, okay. <laughs> I think we're going to go to Frising. And we're going to wait there. Those are village farmers, yeah. We almost clutched that on foot. Our horse just got taken completely out. Uh, let's go to the marketplace and take a look at the horse merchant real quick and look at our horse. Our hunter is not lame. Armor 25, armor 15. Yeah, we need some surgery or somebody with surgery to help us with that. Yeah, we, we're going to need riding. We can ride a white wolf. Nice. Nice. We're going to need riding points, so we're probably going to want some agility. Uh, let's look at the tavern. Ransom Broker, Farmer, ooh, interesting. Mercenary Cavalry, hey, Farmer. What's the matter, my good man? Where is this village? Palmerlock, fantastic. These are much, much less annoying than they are in Pendor. Um, yeah, we're going to wait here for like at least a whole day, though. This is, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, no, your your village is completely like burned to the ground, dude. Amazons have rallied under their queen Ajea and are now roaming the land. Fantastic. We're gonna wait until morning of the next day and see what our We're at sixty eight percent, that's fantastic. Let's continue to wait a little bit longer here. Until it's at least morning, and then we'll head over to this town and we will cleanse it. 
I'm at 82% now, which is sufficient. Let's head in. Hey, 32 wandering criminals. Hey, wandering criminals, I have the farmers at my back. Man, your, your, your village is really annoying. They do have some guys on horseback now. So that's a thing. They're not particularly good guys on horseback. They're not like Kendor Knights, that's for sure. But uh, they, they do have some guys on horseback. Yeah, you guys stay busy with me. Let my farmers kill like the one or two guys that they're gonna get before they all die. And then I'm gonna have to deal with like 30 of you guys all by myself. Which is no problem. It's no problem as long as I don't do something really stupid. Holy crap! What the heck? You're playing like garbage today. Well, I guess we're withdrawing from this town and failing this one. Actually, we can get defeated here. These town battles don't matter. I don't believe. Are we gonna clutch this on foot? Actually, there's only 30 something of them. We could potentially clutch this on foot. If we keep out of the range of their bows... These guys are significantly easier to take on foot than those last guys were. So. A lot of their weapons can't actually damage them. So. Especially if we're backing away from them. Because then they're not going to get a speed bonus. They're actually going to get a speed penalty if we back away from them. For the most part. No, they managed to headshot us. No, so I guess we failed that one. Although we took out 19. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's fine. We're, we're okay. We're just, you know, experiencing defeat after defeat as we return to the game for the first time. But there's a tournament here. I don't have the health to fight in a tournament right now. Join a tournament with 9% HP. Good idea. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today, ladies and gents. Thanks for tuning in. We are going to get uh, warmed back up to this game. We are going to get out there and we are going to... Uh, <laughs> make ourselves enough money that we can start buying up land in all of these cities over here. And get ourselves a good, solid foundation. We might even become a vassal. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, that's that's something for the future, though. Out of curiosity, what is our renown? 672. I mean, it's a start. It's, it's not great, but it's a start. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you again next time. This has been Liz. Bye-bye. <laughs>